Hello and welcome. I hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day. What would be up to? And you join me here on American Truck Simulator. And I've got a load of empty pallets. You might be thinking, oh, what's some interest in some empty pallets? Well, it's the only job I could find. I'll show you why uh, we are doing the events. I've already done one off screen. Um, I drove up to here and then, because it was quite late in the evening anyway, so... And I managed to get a route from here to here. On my map, it says I've already discovered this, but I don't believe I have. But you never know. Anyhow, and it's like I say, it's part of the World of Trucks event. I'll show you now. I've done one out of 14. Uh, when does this end? Scroll all the way down. This event ends on Saturday. It's at the 28th, sorry, I had to focus. 28th. Okay, so oh January. Okay, so that's next year. That's not too bad. They must be trying to run along the Christmas events alongside it, hopefully. Um That gives me time then. I was panicking, I've got still got to do all the other ones. I think that's the I forget when that um I think it's the 19th of December that ends. Uh, now you might be looking and noticing that we've got the Christmas lights. Yay, you've got the Christmas lights back on the screen. And I've got the truck decked out in Christmas lights. If you didn't notice, I'll try and put them on. We've no, it's not going to really pick them up in a day. But they are there. So I figured start towards get a little bit Christmassy on the channel. As we are close to Christmas, it's literally just around the corner. Let's do a trailer tug test. Yeah. I don't think I need all three axles down. This is my own trailer. Um, it's already got a little bit of damage on it. I clipped the corner too quick and got a little, little bit of damage on it, but I can repair it when, when, as and when. Um, but anyway, let's set off. And get driving like i said before i hope you guys and girls are well and i'm hoping you guys and girls are all sorted out for christmas um if you or if you are not you know how much more have you got to get i don't know why i was indicating too early i think now's the time to indicate oh okay now's the time to also stop let's try to try to break on yeah, so I've got the Christmas lights on, again Christmassy. Um, Christmas music, again Christmassy. Get guys and girls in the mood. As I said, um, have you got all your Christmas stuff sorted? Have you still got stuff to do? I've still got stuff to do. Uh, I've got to get my brother's girlfriend and her son at something. I don't know what yet, but I've got to get her something. Small something, something. Um, my brother said to keep it small this year, um, just to keep down on costs. I've got him his present. I think he already knows what it is. Um, pretty much, I spoiled it. He figured out pretty quickly what I was up to, and uh, I said to him, because I remember a time when he got stranded and he had no car jump pack. And I said, I bought one because I bought, well, I'll go into the story of the one I bought in a bit, but I bought one um, for um, just emergency pace purposes uh, for my dad mainly and wherever else and um, all that good stuff. And I so I texted him a message saying, look, if you bought yourself one, uh, so then if you do get stranded with a flat battery again at least you can get yourself out of a corner so to speak and then if later on you get more problems with it you can take it to the garage and stuff like that um, with that so I said to him to him look have you got one yet and he just sat and went uh no but i know exactly what you're up to and i was like i just put a smiley face and on there and i was just like yeah okay he sussed out exactly what i was doing it was the black friday week on amazon so 
I typically, I know it sounds a bit stingy, but I typically wait until that sort of week to start thinking about doing Christmas shopping anyway. Um, if I'm going to do Christmas shopping, that's the sort of time I do it because it's just most cost effective and you can get yourself some nice little toys at the same time, if you know what I mean. Um, so I bought him a battery jumps pack but it's not just a jump pack. I won't go into detail because I don't want to ruin it for him if he's listening. Um, it's a power bank as well, but it does other stuff. Um, I figured, you know, with all that other extra stuff it does, um, he won't just throw it in the back of his car and forget about it. And then when he does need to go to use it, it's going to be flat. It's lithium ion batteries, which typically don't they over time they do hold their charge but they can over time deplete deplete in charge so it's always advised to sort of keep them topped up whenever um it cost me when i bought it on the black friday it was around about 40 quid which wasn't too bad because i had black friday and then an additional 10 percent coupon as well because i've done some reviews on some products i bought so Amazon give me an additional 10% because of that, um, which is quite cool. So, you know, that's not bad. It wasn't a bad saving. It worked out, I think, 40% of what it initially was with that additional um, saving as well. Um, sorry if it's a bit laggy. I don't know what that's all about. It might be because we're just discovering new bits of the map. We'll get a thimble in in a minute. The new skyboxes are great. They look, do make add some um, unique stuff to the game. Right, let's try without crashing, Kev. Try getting a picture in photo for the thimble, so to speak. Yeah, so straight away, I think he knows what I'm getting him for Christmas, but he did say keep it sort of like low and i have to my best of my ability something which i figured he'd find a bit useful um because that's what i typically buy my brother useful or or the other occasional like last year i bought him uh like a puzzle um uh, and a kind of wooden clock which he built he never got it going though he built it but he couldn't get it to work um and apparently it's quite fiddly to disassemble it again, so it's a shame. It looked pretty cool and I liked it and I wanted to get one. And I may still get one, but but with everything else going on at the moment, it's just not the top of my my mindset. Um yeah, I've got my dad his present. It's like um he won't be listening, so I can't ruin it for him. Um, I got him because he's got an older car now it's over 12 years old um, it's a Ford Focus gear I think he's got yeah Ford Focus gear um, and he doesn't drive it that far um, he poodles down to the town with it and that's about as far as he goes with it and the other occasional goes and sees my sister um and every now and again, he comes out to see me and my bra or whatever. Um, and all that good stuff. Um, but he doesn't really go far in it. So... I've got him, and his problem is, this time of year, he's got a, a lot of condensation building up in his car. And he had a leak, leak in the back of the light quadrant at one point. Um, uh, which he sorted but it's always damp in there and when he gets in it it's always steamed up so I've got him these de um, dehumidifying cushions sort of thing I've got them two packs the two in them um, got these road marks which means they're hard to make out um, quickly look around for you guys and girls see hang on for if we can Uh -oh. I do silly stuff like this for you guys and girls. 
Uh, this is not a good view, not a good view. Oh, I think I missed Merck's it. Whoa, sorry, dude. I don't think I damaged the truck. Let's have a quick look. This wouldn't be an episode if I haven't had a crash. No, I haven't. Dun -dun, I made it. Just see the little bit of damage I've done to the trailer. Sorry, dude. No, don't back up into me. Whatever you do, don't back up into me. Drive forward, that's it. I missed the stop. It's up here it's supposed to be going. I should have really looked at the sat nav and that would I would have um avoided that. Oh well, it is what it is. Yeah, so I've got him then. Uh I haven't got his missus anything yet. My brother's missus anything or his um stepson well her son um i've got pretty much everyone else's present as well i'll stay in this middle lane i think this is the best lane to stay in saying stay right but Okay, that's the sums. It says there's a lot of tolls here on the blog. I'm beginning to believe it now. I've come across at least one. This is the second one I've come across now. 75, but we're restricted to 65. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Cruise control on. Right, um, I'm thinking of bringing uh, Bus Simulator 2021 back onto the channel. I initially did a let's first look of it and then I forgot to play it. They've brought some more DLC into it, which has made it a bit more playable as a game. I'm, I already purchased that in a sense by get had the season pass anyway you'll do don't know if you know if you need to be in the left hand lane or not I'm guessing not so uh oh I've got a feeling I should have went into that lane with a toll in it. But I could be wrong. No, I'm wrong. I don't need to... I can just go along this bit. Phew. Right, okay. Price is adverted. Um, yeah, so I'm bringing that back in. I'm going to start playing a bit of that. I've already made a start on it in the career mode. I've got a few routes set up. What I might do is make that of a multiplayer on streaming when I bring the streaming plat um, back into play. I'm working on that. Um, go on, Berg Biker. Because I've got no mods on that. It's probably the easiest one where we can all jump on and the people have got it or whatever. Um, also, uh, I discovered another little small channel um her name is victoria sponge cake i will leave a link down below um she's into puzzle games i like puzzles myself i was gonna try and i want to try and bring some puzzles into the onto the channel but they're, they're difficult they can be difficult to edit without looking uh sort of like dodgy um but I do want to sort of try and bring that sort of stuff in because I do enjoy playing puzzle games. Caution. Please mind okay, 60 along here. So if we wind it down to 61, that's probably acceptable. Foolish. 
um yeah so victoria sponge cake her name is like i said i'll leave a link down below go and check her out um have a look see if that if, if puzzle games is your sort of thing go and check her out and if you want if you like what she's doing obviously you know guys what you need to do you know exactly what you need to do um if you do decide to subscribe to her um leave her a comment on one of her latest videos saying um you have sent me your way i'll mention it to her after this was released that i've Give her a little shout out. She's like I said, she's a small channel, smaller than me at the moment. No bragging. Um, won't take her long. I can imagine her being bigger than me within a year. Um, she's got the whole short thing pegged down and all that good stuff, which me being old school, <laughs> I can't see the work out to get that to work. Um, but I probably will eventually. Are we good? Are we doing for diesel? Yeah, we got diesel. Yeah, the reason I come across her because I saw that she was playing Bus and she got it on a free trial weekend. I don't know if she still plays it, but and I I saw a video and I had a bit of a laugh and then saw she does like puzzle games. Well, I'm into puzzle games, so. Not suitable for the younger viewer. Um where i try and keep my fam um, this this channel sort of like suitable for everyone um she doesn't i'm not gonna go into elaborate to why it's not the content of the game she does they're pretty straightforward it's just obviously um other bits and pieces again i won't go into that so the younger views may want to just stay away she doesn't age restrict them in any way but doesn't keep it exactly PG but she's quite funny to watch um, quite a good watch I always like to recommend her um, what else um, computer wise computer still holding up well uh, the old PC still running uh, my brother's sort of like lent, sent me some software which well a link to download some software I've still yet to download Fusion 360. I've got to put that on my list of things to do. Um, how long have we got left? It's not long. Sorry if we're in advance if it has gone over the usual time frame. I didn't tender it to. Ooh, lag spike. Uh, for it to do that. Another bit of the. I think we're just gracefully passing through without revealing them, which I'm glad. Um, because otherwise we're going to get more issues along the way that way. It's up 75, so I can increase the speed up to 65 because it's limited after that, which is a shame. But might as well capitalize on as much speed as we can. Get this run done as quick as we can. I don't want to over drag in too long for you guys and girls. But have you guys and girls got anything planned reference New Year's? I've still got nothing planned yet. I'm probably gonna spend it with my brother if anything. Um but nothing dramatic. I may even be working. I've, I've got to figure out what day it falls on. I'm at a certain vintage now where it's just <laughs> same old, same old. You get, have a few drinks, have a chill out, hug some random people. Weirdly enough, on my way home from the Christmas do, my Christmas works do, um, I had a guy come up to me 
And he said, oh, yeah, can you help me, mate? And I was, I was thinking maybe he's just wanting directions, so I stopped. And he said, oh, yeah, my car, I pointed over to his car and just like, yeah, my car's broken down. I've got no money. And I don't want to really um, disturb my missus. And I saw he had his phone, and I was thinking, well, if... I said, then I said to him, well, haven't you, can't you use, pay using your phone, mate? And he said, well, I'm, I'm a bit low strapped for cash. And the thing is, he pointed over to a Range Rover. And I'm thinking, well, if you can't afford to run a Range Rover, mate, then you shouldn't be, right. you shouldn't be, I won't go on this lane, I'll, I'll go right in the next lane. It just seemed a bit dodge at the time. But I was just so... I wanted... I was just... Look, I need to get catch a train. I didn't want to be held up for too much longer. So... I just grabbed the change I had out of my pocket. Oh, I can't go because this is a different one. I grabbed all the change I had out of my pocket. And just gave it to him. Didn't even say thanks for anything. I was thinking, no, oh, you're probably just some scam artist. Just on a blag for some money. He said he didn't have any money, so he couldn't get back home. I think we got a phone. If you got a Range Rover, you should be able. To, and it was a fairly new one as well. It wasn't old. You got rank, got money to drive a, to buy or to buy or even it could have mean the least one i guess he could at least he could lease it i guess i'm guessing we go in here you can let me in i'm guessing this is the gate yeah gotta be careful from the front end i don't want to whack that i don't want to clip the fence either Yeah, and I'm going to clear the fence. Where's the parking spot? Quickly jump out the truck so we can see. Oh, well, well. Am I supposed to be in here? Oh, it's right there. Right, okay. Good to know. Right on the end, so we need to sort of like bank this in just right i'm going to cheat cam this because it's just because i want to get this um out of the way and done quickly for you guys and girls or anything put the hazards lights on oh, reverse would be preferred gear kev um right let's go yeah i just think he was on he was a scamming he was definitely up to no good and it's like well why did you give him the change just to shut him up I could have just sat there and sorry mate, I've got nothing on me. I've got no money either. Which I really thought about doing, but I figured, you know, if it is genuine and he is so I mucked that up big time. If he is generally stuck, then it seems like, you know, that's if you know, if I was in that situation, if it was a legit situation. The thing is, push comes to shove, he could have slept in his car and waited until, or sat in his car, or slept in his car, and that's not going to make that. Let's try and wiggle it a bit more. That way, if we can. That's a bad angle for the trailer. I'm not sure I'm just going to clear that dustbin or not. And there we go. If I now straighten that out as best as I can. Keep it at an angle, right angle for the dangle, so to speak. Yeah, I just figured. Well, if he, if he is generally stuck, if I was, I'd think I thought of myself in that same situation. 
you know, if you are stuck, then you'd want to try and get some money to get home or whatever. But that's why I always carry sort of emergency cash with me. But again, that would I'd I'd have like the only reason that I'd be stuck stuck is someone but stole my wallet and my phone. But then all I'd do is find the closest person or shop and say, "Look, can you phone the police and just I want to, or can I borrow your phone to phone the police to report theft?" And if they weren't remotely interested, or just gave me a crime number, which was plausible, um, then I'd have to sort of like, you know, figure out a way if I were trying to get home or getting a hold of my dad or my brother or someone. I'm sure someone in the shop would lend me a phone. Because I'm sure his girlfriend would have been, like, concerned. If, even if he didn't want to wake her up. I'm sure she would have been wanted to help him out but anyway let's unload this because i've blabbered on long enough we've got a nice empty trailer and they put my axle down i hate it when they do that bring the axle back up again please thank you okay guys and girls i'll leave it at that as an episode i apologize if it did overrun um if you got made it to this point you obviously enjoyed it so please feel free to like if you didn't enjoy it for any reason any reason at all please feel free to dislike please leave comments down below help um either way and or whatever um and that way i can gauge what's going on um if you know anyone else may also enjoy watching this guys and girls please feel free to share it helps me out a lot and i don't mind you sharing and if you're new to my channel and see future episodes of this or anything else please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware as soon as i upload a new video i'll see you in the next one ttfn <laughs>